Hello, we have a tip for you today in how to use your iPhone or your iPad as a document camera for when you are working with students to deliver the assessment tasks in the addition and subtraction assessment with those screened tasks using the screens and counters, or when you're working with them in instruction and wanna be able to use those screens and counters um, and be able to present tasks to them. So you will need either your iPhone or an iPad, and I'm going to be using my iPad today, which I have set up on a stand. Um, so here's the iPad, and here is my stand. So it gives me the option to either keep it angled up or angled down. You want to make sure that you have a stand that gives you the option to be able to angle it down toward your teaching space, okay? Then with your charging cord, you're going to plug that into your laptop and then plug in your device, either your iPad or your iPhone. Okay, so I'm all hooked up and connected. So now you have the share screen option down here. So when I click share screen, I have these options to share the different desktops on my computer, but then you see the option to either share your iPhone or iPad either through AirPlay or a cable. We recommend the cable because then you're not drawing on your battery, you're actually charging your device at the same time. Whereas AirPlay will draw on the charge of your battery and you don't wanna lose uh, your device while you're working with your student. So we'll click that option and just make sure our sound and uh, the optimized screen um, share is selected there and we'll click share. It's going to come up on your device to trust the computer. So just make sure you do that. And then you're going to select the camera app on your device. And then that will bring up your teaching space. So as you can see here, I have the screens out on my teaching space. I have the counters pulled to the top of my space. So they are out of sight of the students that I'm working with. Okay, now we still wanna make sure that we're presenting the tasks to the student from left to right. Uh, with the camera being reversed and facing at me, I do have my blue counters on the left side of me. So I have those up there and then my red counters on the red side, the right side of me and my screens accordingly. Okay, clear that space there. So my counters are out of the view of the student and my screens are ready. Okay, so I will pull down my counters. So I have four blue and three red. How many all together? So we give the students some time to solve it. If we need to present a task where we remove the screens, just make sure that the counters are spaced out in a way that they are able to still touch them on their screen and they can still touch them. Um, but the only downfall is that they are not able to move them. So just make sure that you do have them in that teaching space and you can see that um, and just be able to encourage them to manipulate them on the screen, okay? So that's a quick little tip today to be able to deliver those screen tasks uh, with your students while you're working with them. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local champion or any one of us here at US Math Recovery. Thank you. Have a great day.